Cubs versus the Brewers, and the Cubs are plus 110 on the money line. The Brewers are minus 120. The over-under is 7.5 runs. Milwaukee laying a run and a half are plus 140. The Cubs getting a run and a half are minus 160. Now, Peralta did pitch against the Cubs last year, and he did not lose a single game that he pitched against them. He was 3-0 and with one no decision. And, yeah, that, that's just saying something there. And in those games, he went five innings, six innings, five innings, six innings. So he pretty much, you know, gave the, the bullpen a rest in those games. Now, Strawman... Pitched for the Mets last year. He didn't pitch against the Brewers in any of those games. He was 10-13 and 13 with a 3.02 ERA. Now, the Cubs are on a three-game winning streak. The over is 2-0. The team getting the run and a half is 3-0 uh, on their past three games. The favorite is 7-3, and, and Milwaukee is 7-3. and three. Now, I guess the Brewers decided to save their best for last because they didn't want to get swept by the Cubs, but I'm going to take Milwaukee for a clean sweep here. Peralta didn't lose against the Cubs last year. I don't see why his dominance shouldn't carry over into this year. I'm going to take Milwaukee with the money line, Milwaukee uh, laying the runs, and I'm going to go over the 7.5. I just think that the Cubs will uh, end up giving up a bunch of runs in this game. Let's see if I'm right. Let's see if I'm wrong.